we have to give two things to our family, comfort and happiness. But we are so busy making life comfortable that we feel it's okay to be irritated as long as we are comfortable. It's okay to be upset as long as I'm comfortable. It's okay to be stressed as long as we are comfortable. And very soon we started saying, in order to be so comfortable, obviously I will get stressed. I have to work so hard. So then comfort started coming as a very big cost. And so we are comfortable, but not comfortable inside. Comfortable outside. Now all that we have to do is work hard, be comfortable, earn comfort for them, but do all that with the oxygen mask on. And which means with taking care of the self. Because we have the power, but we haven't been using it. We haven't been using it. And we didn't see too many people around us using it. And we saw many people ill around us. And so we thought that was a normal way to be. That was the normal way to be. So hurried, 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 irritated, angry, stressed. We said, this is the way, this is world. This is not the world. This is not normal. Normal is peace, ease, stable, accepting other people for how they are. Let people behave how they behave. We remain stable. That's the power we have. But we were giving away that power in such small, insignificant scenes of our life that we said to get disturbed is normal. And so over a period of 20, 30 years, we achieved everything outside, but we lost a few things inside. We lost a few things inside. Do you think we lost a few things inside? Yes? 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 Now what do we have to do? We want to get back those few things which we've lost. So that we can say truly that we live in heaven. Right now, you all believe you live in heaven. It's nice to call your country paradise. But paradise is not only when there is no traffic on the road. Paradise is when you are stuck in a traffic jam and you are stable inside. That's when you are living in paradise. Because your roads may not always be the way they are today. I'm sure your traffic has increased in the last 20 years. Has it increased? Good. Please visualize in the next 10 years it will increase. And in the next 20 years you would probably have traffic jam on the road. And then will my life be paradise? So paradise is only not about having comfortable things outside. Paradise is about being comfortable inside even when nothing is fine outside. That's the power we have. That's the power we have. That's the power we are going to emerge. That's the power we are going to create. And that's the power we have to give to our family and to our children. Because 20 years from today, when they will be traveling to work on this road, the road might not be paradise. The road might not be paradise. The weather might not be paradise, but they still have to live in paradise. We have to create that paradise for them. So let's not focus only on how to make their life comfortable outside. Let's focus on how to make them emotionally strong to be able to live. To be able to live in any kind of situation outside. Today they may be living here. Tomorrow we don't know where they will go. Tomorrow we don't know where they will go. So we have to give them that inner power. And how will we give them that inner power?
by creating that inner power ourselves. When we go to the temples, yesterday we were at the temple, and when we go to the temple, we see the pictures of the deities. And every photo and statue of the deity has a circle behind them. The aura, white color, white color. That white color stands for, that white color stands for purity. Where every thought is absolutely selfless and giving, there is no asking and needing anything, only giving, highest level of purity, circle is white. Do we also have a circle behind us? We all have a circle. But we have to check what's the color of that circle. Everyone has a circle. Circle means what I'm here inside, that is reflected in my circle outside. It's the aura, the energy field, which is based on my every thought, feeling, memory, intention, insight. When it is 100% pure, selfless and giving, circle is white. Now close your eyes for 10 seconds and see your circle. Don't think. Just look at it and just ask yourself, my aura, my energy, that energy field which walks with me everywhere, that energy field which reaches people even before I speak a word. That aura which represents my personality. On a scale of one to 10, 10 is white, one is black. On a scale of one to 10, give yourself a figure. And it doesn't matter what the figure is, because each one has the power to take it to 10. But where do I stand today? What's the shade? Level of adjustment, level of contentment, level of accepting people, level of remaining stable, one to 10. Okay, Chi, now open your eyes. You're not going to tell your figure, but how many of you were able to give yourself a figure? You were able to give yourself a figure? Yes? Do you think it's important to know ourselves? Huh? Aaj, ye sofa hai. Tomorrow morning, you're sitting on your sofa with your cup of tea. And while you're talking, a little bit of that tea spills on this sofa. How many of you have the sanskar of getting up and cleaning it? Do you do it immediately? Do you do it after an hour? Do you keep it for next Sunday? Or do you keep it for Diwali? <laughs> How soon do we do it? Immediately. So we have the sanskar, we have the nature that if there is a stain, I will clean it immediately. What's the need to clean it immediately? What's the need to clean it immediately? I can do it next Sunday. Tomorrow is Monday morning. Imagine taking out five seconds to clean the sofa. Where's the time? But still you will take out that five seconds to clean the sofa. You will not wait till next Sunday. 
Why? Why is it so important to keep the sofa clean? Easy to? Very good. It's easy to clean it immediately. Why? It will take less time and most important, the stain will go away. Very good. And most important, sofa is expensive. Aise kaise chhod denge usko. Now, while having the same cup of tea, this is for the sisters. Your husband says to you, you've started making good tea. You've learned, it's getting better and better. But you know what? It's still not that way the way my mummy used to make it. Ho jata hai kabhi kabhi aisa? Wo jo hum India mein baith ke chai piya karte the. That is also a stain. And they're just going to voice their opinion pick up their laptop and leave for work. Now I have two choices. Within three seconds, either I clean that stain or the other choices, the other choices, keep rubbing that stain so much that now it's no more just a stain, but it's become a big patch. One sentence, the tea is good, but it's not as good as my mother used to make it. It's one line, it's one stain. What will be a thought which can clean the stain and what will be a thought which will intensify the stain? Because both are going to be thoughts only. So one line they have said, and what they have said is the absolute truth. Truth for them. Truth for them. One second to create the stain, one second to clean the stain, or one second to intensify the stain, right? How many of us know that what thoughts we create, which is going to intensify the stain. Anybody has ever intensified the stains? Yes? What do we think to intensify a stain after someone has said or done something to us? What do we do? Give me some thoughts which will intensify the stain. Hanji? Anybody? Hanji? Argument ke liye thought kya hogi? Even if the argument is not with them, they just said it and they walked away. Now the stain is just here. Hanji? Ah. So which means that the chai mil rithi. One simple thought one simple line which is the truth for the other person and I start creating a series of thoughts and once my mind goes in this direction this is this minute which is very risky because now I'm going to choose which road to go this way or this way if I create one thought get up in the morning at five o'clock make tea for them and after everything, this is what I get to hear. Why did I need to wake up early? I anyways didn't need tea, I made it only for them. No value in this house for me. Whatever I do for them, however hard I work for them, I cook for them, I work for them, I do everything, but no value, no respect, nothing. If this is what is my value, then they might as well go and live with their mummy or call their mummy, you're finished. 
why are they living this mind will start talking and then then it will also emerge all the stains which have been accumulated in the last 20 years that day also they said this that day also they said this last month also they said this so one stain will not remain as one stain it will be stain after stain after stain after stain and while we are doing this and the pain that we are creating and maybe a tear in the eye and maybe remembering my own mummy and while I'm doing all this I'm intensifying that stain but I'm not saying I am doing this I am saying they are the cause of my pain and then I just go on and on and on and on and now that one second one line has become one wound on the soul and now when I am in pain I need to talk to somebody man halka kaise karenge so I need to talk to someone. So then I pick up my phone and I call up a friend or a sister or my mother. Now if they also turn out to be the type who carry stains. <laughs> then it's the easiest way to talk to them and this stain is going to get many many million times. That's why when in pain be very careful who you call. When in pain, be very careful who you call. Because if you're not able to clean your stain, at least call that one who will help you to clean your stain. But don't call someone who, only, who will only add pain to the existing pain. Suppose you call a friend or a sister and she said, these men are all like this. <laughs> Ungrateful. Whatever we, that's it, that's all that I need which endorses my pain that time. And so instead of cleaning the stain, it's only going to get. And the entire day goes with this stain. Sofa got cleaned in three seconds. Now in the evening when they return home. We are waiting for them to clean our stain. Why? Because they were the ones who dirtied it. I was not interested in crying early morning. I was not interested in getting upset. It was they who hurt me. So they have to heal me. So I look at them in the evening like this, waiting. Do we look at them in the evening, waiting? Yes? Clean my hurt. Heal me. And they're going to look at us and say, what happened? Is everything okay? <laughs> and if they said that, now the stain is going to go. You mean to say you don't even know what happened? Here I have been upset the whole day and you are coming home and saying what happened? So morning my line was, Nobody cares for me. Evening, my line is, it's not worth living in this house. <laughs> do, do these conversations happen inside? We're not even talking about a conversation outside, not even an argument, just a conversation that I have with myself in response to one opinion from the other person. Anyone ever created this inside? Yes? And we live in paradise. <laughs> and we live in paradise. We now need to start creating paradise here. What would be the one second thought which could have taken the mind into another direction that morning? Hmm? It's okay. I will try making better tea tomorrow. <laughs> Anything else? One second thought to... Hanji? This is not healing thought. 
We need a healing thought. One, one, we can reach a stage where that line will not even create any hurt. Simply by creating a thought, I made the best that I know how to make. It definitely is not going to be the same as simple. One thought and the mind is full stop. But even if I create the hurt, I need to know how to sit back and heal myself. Because otherwise, stain after stain after stain after stain, very soon the color is not visible anymore. It's covered by so many stains. This one line, chai achiniya, is not even called a situation in life. It cannot even be called a situation in life. It's just one line. But there are so many situations where there have been stains. And we did not clean them. And we held on to them. Do you know of any stains that you've been holding on for very long? Something you've not forgotten? Not released? Not forgiven? Still holding on to? Sofa was cleaned in three seconds. Mind is holding on to that pain for? Mind is holding on to that pain for? How many years are we holding on for? Some could be holding on to something for 10, 20, 30 years. And every time I have held on to something here and not cleaned it, I have depleted emotional health. I have depleted emotional health. I have put a stain in that white circle around me. The purpose of our life should be carrying a white circle, then be living in paradise. And that's why the world in which the deities lived is called Swarg, Satyuk, paradise, heaven, because they were carrying a white circle. We now are going to remove the stains from our circle. Do you think we can release what we are holding on to of the past? They said what they said. It may have been very old. Don't I need to pause and ask myself, why am I still holding on to it? Why am I still holding on to it? Do I need to ask myself or do I just want to hold on to it? Anybody has a stain which they want to delete right now? Anyone has a stain which they want to delete right now? All that we need to do is want to clean it. The want to clean it. Not say, I can never forget this. I can never forgive them. By not forgiving them, by not forgetting it, it is not they who will get stained. Who will get stained? It's like somebody else dropped the tea on my sofa and I'm going to say, I'm not going to clean it. Wo to gira ke chale gai na? Sofa to mera hai? Sofa to mera hai? So, people can come and say and do what they want. If I don't clean it, they will walk away. But it is my energy field which is getting 